Hello, everyone. <laughs> and welcome to that, 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 that. Welcome back to Fiends of the Freylands, nice. where I cannot speak, and yet here I am, the Dungeon Master. It's that mist. It it's gets to you. The it gets, fog. It's all in your mouth. You fog know. mist. It gets the in your lungs and, yeah, you know. Um, yeah, hi, everybody. This is Fiends of the Freylands, back for another round of this one shot. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Episode 9, 10, who knows where we're at <laughs> now. Honestly, it's, we've gone so far. Um, listen, this is an Upstairs Alchemy podcast, and if you like it, you should listen to other Upstairs Alchemy podcasts. You know where you can do that? I do. Tell me, John. Tell everyone. You, you can go to the World Wide Web, <laughs> also known as the internet, and you can go to literally any social media. <laughs> literally LinkedIn. anyone. And Nexopia. Except for, like, a lot of them, yeah, but, like, any, literally any of the ones that Any relevant on. ones, am I right? Burn. Yeah, burn. You can go on those... I'm talking Nef- I'm talking Netflix. I'm talking Instagram. I'm talking Facebook. I'm talking the Twitter. You know what I mean? I'm talking all that stuff right now. The yeah, free. and you should Look listen to me. us on on Spotify. That's the one, not SoundCloud anymore. Mm-hmm. That's yep. true. So let me give you all a little recap of what happened last time. Okay. Wait, you can become an alchemist. I forgot this, this is important. You can become an alchemist if you back us on Patreon, mm-hmm. and that would be super cool. And you get a little bonus content too for all your little bonus needs. Wait, Shane, what's up? How's our merch doing? Uh, it's oh. uh, you know, it's a work in progress. It doesn't exist, but uh, we're working oh, I on thought it. it. I thought it was coming along. You know what? It might be a couple more years. It may never happen, but uh, <laughs> you know, if it, it could does, be tomorrow, it could be tomorrow. You don't know. No one knows. It's, a, it's just a little coming. surprise, actually. Mystery it. swag. That's right. Mystery swag. They call it. That's exactly Mystery right. swag from Upstairs Alchemy. That's gonna be if we ever do make sure that's gonna be on it. Mystery swag. It's gonna, say, it's gonna be a hat actually. It's gonna say mystery swag on it. Ooh, I like it. It's gonna have no context at all for <laughs> I'm actual still stories kind of understanding or games. Why we're gonna do that? But I get it. All right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's do a little recap of what happened last time. Recap. Last time we had a long episode, and, and I at this point at the point of this recording, I don't know if we're gonna split it into two or not. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say no. It's just one. It's just one. Yeah, it's just one. So that with the weird right outro. Right. Perfect. I love the outro. <laughs> we have a weird outro intro last episode. And if you didn't listen to it, why are you listening to this episode? True. Listen to get that out first. Of here, but yeah, come get, back. get lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but come right. Back. Oh yeah, no. But get lost to us. Get lost Seriously. in the fist and the mog. What are you? Fist and mog. What mist and fog. It's, it's ah, like, mist and fog. I'm doing a little thing. I'm doing a bit. Um. Yeah, so they went. They so they had, were just coming back. Our, our intrepid adventurers were just coming back from the Castor Manor, where they had a weird run-in with a ghost mommy who was really upset about them killing her vampire baby. <laughs> That's right. As one does. Ghost As one mommy. is apt to do, you know. Uh, yeah, so that all went down. They came back to the town and they wanted to talk to Sasha Salazar, mm. the one who brought them here. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when they explained that, oh, and they were being followed as well. It's mm. important. They were being followed by uh, who, the creature that once was Oriol Castor, uh, and also, in fact, Alba Castor. They were both on on the prowl, hot on the trail. Yeah, the tail and, and so and they trail. warned Sasha about this impending threat to the town. They went to go start making preparations together, and at that point, Sasha started getting real suspicious and turned into a werewolf. And then we got into this weird kind of like three way fight situation, where our heroes were. Clearly, way too powerful for these other two. A menage horses. a trois, as yeah. some would say. Yeah, exactly. And they managed to defeat them all, and they killed everybody. They just killed them all. They, they just, just murdered everyone. Murdered everyone. Whole whole Come on, except Thank you. one young lady who yeah. uh, was then reawakened by uh, Sir Garrison. Bolshein. Sir Garrison Boldshine, correct? <laughs> and he was about to interrogate her, and he asked her, "Where can we find the Lord Nettle?" She said. He doesn't. You don't find him. He finds you. <laughs> that was a great recap. Honestly, Thanks. cliffhanger. Also, yeah. Mort aged ten years and is now <laughs> in the prime of his life. And he hot. <laughs> He's getting hotter every day. <laughs> Pimples are gone. <laughs> That's amazing. Just the clearest complexion. <laughs> <laughs> he looks oh, amazing. Oh, Mort! It's amazing. Yeah. So, what do you guys want to do now that you are in that exact situation? You got this. This well, young woman by the scruff mm, of the neck. Um, first of all, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to hold her, though, still. Okay. I'm also going to beckon my comrades over. 
And I'm going to cast Zone of Truth. Ooh. Without her really knowing. She'll know I'm doing something. Can I do matter. a perception check quickly? Sure. What kind are you of perceiving like, for? Uh, threats. Mostly werewolves. Any sign of Mr. Nettles. Anything coming towards us. Because anything that comes towards us wants to kill us. Okay. Keep your eye open for a good strawberry, too, because I'm kind of hungry. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if some back in Sasha's place, we could just take this party right. in there. She's yeah, she's not going to be eating him. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, are we? Too soon. Maybe. But maybe not. Uh, it's a 16 for perception. Uh, you don't see anybody. It, it actually, like, you don't see anybody. Not no. even a single... No, the pe- the townspeople seem to have, like, be, uh, made themselves scarce, if you will. Does it look like a ghost town? Nice. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see anything. Okay. Again. I will drop spirit guardians. All right. All the cherubs pop like little bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> the best. All right, what do you guys want to do? So I was you gonna ask them during. I forgot what I was gonna say because it's been a whole session. Wait, <laughs> I want to say. Uh... Oh, you uh... turn back to her and her eyes are like rolled back in her head. What? And she's kind of like, <sighs> kind of breathing heavy and like her eyes are like they're back in her head. So like you can't like it's not like they're like flitting around. You know what I mean? But you can tell that they're like moving. It looks oh. like she's like having some sort of like vision. Or something. Speak to me, Lord of Nettles. Speak to me. No response. Dang it. I thought that'd be cool. I thought maybe <laughs> he was there or something. He's listening. Could have been real tight. <laughs> she kind of like coughs and her eyes like kind of like go back to normal. She blinks a bunch. And, like looks back at you. What was that? Uh, it's. It seems that I've been blessed with the communication. Uh, excuse me? What does that mean? I, it is what once happened with, with Sasha. It was her, her role here. I've been chosen. Okay. To communicate with the Lord of Nettles? Yes. And what does he want? I can show you. <laughs> okay. Very creepy, <laughs> but please show us. She kind of, like, starts to, like, lift up her arms. It kind of, like, nods to, like... Like, is this okay? Wait, is this okay, actually? <laughs> Hold on, wait. Don't do that. Put your arms down. She puts them back down. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. Um, <clears throat> Okay, well, um, people here, what do we, uh, should we uh, continue with this? Or maybe try to <laughs> take a moment to catch our breath, perhaps? I would love moments in the amount of eight hours, but I mean... <laughs> it's quite a few moments. It's quite a few moments sure. that Let's we may do not it. have. Let's do it, yeah. No, no, no. We, we tie her up. We take a little gander around the town, make sure there's no other werewolves, and we uh, take a little sleep. Well, I think we should just, like, hide out in Sasha's place. Maybe, like, try to barricade sure. the place. Mm-hmm. Take our rest. We go to Caster's. No one's um, there. Except the, oh, the, the vampire's there. The vampire's there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Never mind. Um, <laughs> but <clears throat> she's safe in the... What do we do? What do we do? <laughs> Graveyard? I feel like the longer we Crypt. stay out here, though probably i feel like we the should worst. try and yeah i agree get out of all sight. right i want to uh what is your name first of all my name is luna luna all right uh do you mind coming with us accompany us please are you giving me a choice no <laughs> interesting is, you would ask they're called formalities it's something uh, as a noble myself i have uh, certain standards to withhold Clearly. Come on. <laughs> on your feet. She kind of stands up slowly. Still holding it. pretty hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Okay, we'll go to Sasha's, yeah? I mean, it's right there. It didn't, isn't it like just like... Yeah, we just stepped out the door basically, I think. <laughs> How, yeah. We go there. Okay, it's not... You're not like... You went to the edge of town. So like, you, you oh, walk right, back yeah, through town. Forgot, that's right. People are ducking away. They're kind of like hiding from you. <laughs> As we're dragging. As you're... Luna with us, yeah, and dragging Luna with you, and we left Sasha's body. Oh, we looted their bodies. Sorry, I wanted you, to make sure you, that. they were mid looted bodies as you as you called your pals over. Oh dang, they were mid looted. You were mid looting the body, like you were in the middle of looting the body. You oh. can go back and loot it now if yeah, you like. Just him yeah, the finish house. loot. Yeah, yeah. All right, roll an investigation check. I won't try and loot because I'm not. I'm holding. I Luna. just got her staff. You didn't check her pockets. I'll leave that to Gigan. Oh. Uh, <laughs> dirty twenty. <laughs> Whoa. She doesn't know a lot. Like these people are pretty humble in their the way their way of living. But what do I get? Yeah. They're meager. 
How many platinum do I get? <laughs> <laughs> 20, 30. You find a vial of this like weird little light, very kind of like light watery green liquid. Hmm. Light, watery, green it's probably Mountain Dew. liquid. I think it's Mountain Dew. Vile. <laughs> Might be. Okay. Um, Too bad it's not um, Baja you Blast. also find Baja a little Blast. like um, <laughs> looks like some sort of like little like heirloom thing. It's like a little um, like a, like a crest, like uh, kind of like something you'd like put up on your mantle if you will. Right. Um, Was it? Does it resemble nettles, or is it more of a? Salazar. No, Familial. it's definitely not. Like it's, uh, you recognize some of the iconography as uh, that of what you saw at the Castor man- Manor. Okay. Wait, what did we see there again? Just like <laughs> you know, the kind of like uh, like their coat of arms or whatever that they might have had. The like, Castor family yes. stuff. Oh, mm-hmm. so she had a little. She did loot it. Big old liar. I mean, we knew that. But now we know That's it. That's why we killed her. She lied to us. Yeah, she she deserved that. So like, <laughs> I guess. So <laughs> coming from the paladin, <laughs> she deserved. So vile and heirloom. Yeah, and her her staff. Oh, the staff. Was, but, uh, what is that staff like? Oh, I guess we have to identify it's the leaf it. one. To look, we don't know what it does though. Can I uh, do? Also find three strawberries. Oh, I give them to uh, why Mr. Garrison. Why does she have them on her body? Yeah, ew, in her pockets? <laughs> They're all so linty. Good. I eat them. Hey, Sasha, <laughs> give me some of your strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Those god! Are my cops. Yeah, um, are they like in a zippered cargo pouch? <laughs> yeah, they are. Can I do like an arcana check to see what the vial is? You can, yeah, you can do an arcana check to kind of determine a little bit about it. It's going to take more than our Connor check. It's a natural 20, 22. <laughs> yeah. I'm rolling it's so good today. It's a potion, for sure. Yeah, you are rolling amazing. It is a potion. Uh, oh. Yeah. It's, you can tell that it's magical. Okay. Okay. I already knew both of those things. <laughs> it's not uh, you can't like You can't get a whole lot of details from it. You can tell that it's like made not by magics that you're super familiar with. Probably like Gruitic sort of magics. Ooh. And it is giving you... <sighs> How much more would you able to get with just like... A natural twenty. With just I smell looking it. At something. Can I like taste you can, it? You can like yeah. You can dip your little finger in there, your pinky finger, and just kind of like. What do I feel on my tongue? Uh, it tastes like very kind of like bitter, and almost the bitterness like kind of travels back on your tongue, uh, and you feel Not like almost like a little like, um, yeah. like like prickliness, if you will. Nettly, like nettles. <laughs> That's what I was going through. You can tell that there's some sort of maybe. What's the word I'm looking for here? Oh, uh, no. Come on, it's you one know of the mouths. magic. You know mouths. Aberration. Conjuration. Keep going. Divination. Nope, keep going. Abduration. Illusion. Keep going. Necromancy. Destruction. Necromancy. Conjuration. No, evocation. No. Why can't I think what of this word? What else is there? It's like uh, transmutation. 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 There it is. Uh, we all got it. Okay. Yeah, we all, I, I got um, it. Does it feel <laughs> good or bad? Or just different. Is it evil or is different. it holy? It doesn't, no, it doesn't. It doesn't feel evil or holy. It just is. It just is what yeah. it is. Just drink it, dude. Come on, okay. stop playing around. <laughs> we all know what you're gonna do anyway. Stop Chug playing it. around and drink it. Chug it. Okay, we go to the house. Are we, have you finished looting everybody? Do you, loot the milkman too, and the Batman. Yeah, milkman and Batman. The milkman has a. <laughs> Just like a, a mug that he was kind of like holding in his hand <laughs> from his bar. Before he got like taken. Yeah, and he, he has like, you, you notice like a little rag that he probably had like draped over his shoulder as he approached, but it fell off. In the... Just shining <laughs> in the He's bug. not dead actually, yeah. You, you, you kept him alive. No, I think... Oh, you're right. Yeah, so he's stirring <clears throat> but, and not super happy about the massive bite that the wolf took out of his body. He was, vam- he was a werewolf too, right though? No. No, he was possessed by Oh, he was just Alba. possessed. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm going to talk to him. I'll bring him along with us, and if he's not quite up yet, okay, he's like very woozy. Oh, okay, like not re- not ready to stand. Okay, I'll pump a hit point into him. Okay, it helps quite a bit with the wolf bite, but not completely. <laughs> okay, uh, come, sir. <laughs> what was his name again? I knew, I know it. I think I just don't remember it. I know it. Garrison knows it. I don't remember it. Jordy, 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 Jordy please. Okay. Uh, how are you, Jordy? <laughs> how are you feeling? I'm 
feeling very badly. <laughs> Jordi, I, <clears throat> I hate to say this to you, but uh, to be the one to tell you, but you were possessed by a, some sort of spirit or ghost. I, that's very disturbing to hear. I, indeed. It is more disturbing to get it out of you. <laughs> Let me tell you that much. Uh, but it is out of you now, so you have what's, nothing what's to fear. All this, what's all this white stuff on my skin? <laughs> This is uh, 3.25% homogenized milk. milk. <laughs> <Ghost> milk. <laughs> uh, would I know it's ectoplasm? Probably, right? Roll me a... No, right. you know, like Not that a, it matters, but... Arcana check. Sure. Terrible, terrible. Six. Yeah, it's probably ectoplasm. Who knows? <laughs> ghost milk. It's most likely ghost milk, uh, <laughs> Jordy. Um, but do not, do not fear. I don't think it's harmful to you. Uh, maybe take a nice long bath. You deserve it. Thank you. All right. Onward, Where back we, to your task. What, what? What? You're the tavern keeper of this small town, aren't you? I'm going to rest a little bit. Well, okay. If no, go ahead. Yes, you do what you need to do. Thank you. Chip her up. Okay. All right. Cheerio. <laughs> he, no- he notices the dead bodies and just starts, like, panicking. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, did you, the, what? Uh, okay, Jordy, oh, come did, here, Jordy. Uh, Jordy, uh, please. What is that? I, they, they were oh, bad people. Uh, there are bad people in this town. No. Uh, there were bad people in this town, Jordy. <clears throat> Listen to me. Focus. What, what have you Look done? at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I, Look at me. I am oh, a knight. I am Sir Garrison Boldshine. I, I bring light and truth to oh, all. Oh boy. I would never leave you in darkness. Oh, no. Listen to me. Focus. <laughs> <laughs> I am here to serve. I am here to protect and help. Those were evil. Bad. Terrible. Oh, Not good people. Okay. Okay. Sometimes in life you must kill people. Oh, <laughs> no, sorry. I mean, no, no. Uh, oh. Sometimes there are people who deserve death. Please, please uh, don't I kill mean, me. Don't kill me. No, no. You go. Run along now. I can't. Get to your tavern. My, I hurt. I'm hurting. <laughs> You're hurting. What, what, uh, I've healed you. <laughs> Come on. I'll cast healing word on him. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> You're healed. And I'll say, you've done well. Go rest. What? I typed in Jordy. <laughs> <laughs> Jordy, 5E. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's Healing words, funny. Um, he gets eight points of health. <laughs> that's a lot. That's Do-do-do-do. most of his hit points. His wolf wound mostly shuts, and he's able to kind of like scamper away from you. And scamper? Just like... On all fours? Hold on. Well, <laughs> initiative. It's more like, it's more like a crab walk. It's oh, more okay. like a... Like, Wait, he's oh, on he all fours? Get out, he gets out of the way. He's, he's getting away from you guys. He's scared out of his mind. But, uh, that's also very crab terrifying. Crab walk? Yeah. His head's backwards. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, it's like the ring. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear. All right. He, yeah, he hides behind a yeah building. Oh, thank you, outside. thank you, uh, Gig and I. <laughs> Somehow, the poor poor boy was struggling there. You can still hear him behind the behind the building. <gasps> oh 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 god! Oh no! <laughs> Be on your way, <laughs> George. Go on. <laughs> Chip her off. I don't know <laughs> anything. I say things, all right? Chip her off. What does that even mean? <laughs> we gotta, guys, we gotta get off okay, the street. Okay, we go to Sasha's. We go to Sasha's. Get off the road. Get That's the all road. I can think. Quick. Quick. You guys get off the road and you get back into Sasha's place. Dig it. Um, are you barricading it as... I think it's a good idea, honestly. Yeah. Move the furniture up against the, wall, the doors and hope Do they the don't swing out. Can. Yeah. <laughs> Do they swing in? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. It's just a one so door. So much easier. Oh, okay. It's, it's pretty simple. It's quite, uh, oh, yeah, I already slept here one night. That's right, never mind. All right, well, <clears throat> how long does that take us to barricade up? Uh, half an hour. Okay, love it. No, no, you get, you like, have to like, break her like chairs and stuff to like, yeah, that's cool. fine. No we worries. Do it. I eat her strawberries as well. Okay. <laughs> they're delicious. <laughs> they're okay, they're a bit meager. Uh, they're quite meager. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Um, well, keep watch there. Uh, I'm gonna go rest. Uh, let me know if there's any trouble. Are we doing like a long rest? Uh, watch. Oh, Roo? right. I guess we should probably uh, watch Roo. Like uh, do a little watch. Yes, 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 yes. Mm-hmm. Attempt number two. Maybe Sirog, you would like to take the first nappy nappy? Huh? I would love to. All right, sounds great. <laughs> what, are we doing two naps, one awake, or? Well, we have Mort. Oh, and we have Rune. Rune's here. <laughs> Rune's there. Don't forget yeah, about Rune. Rune's fine. She can t- keep watch. <laughs> she can keep watch for us. We got Rune. We got Mort. Uh, and, yeah. Ju- and Luna. And Luna. We keep her oh, tied yeah. up. And Luna. Yeah, we, we tie, tie her, her up. up. We tie her up. Super good. Okay. Roll a... Uh, Who wants, who wants to do it? Intelligence instead of dexterity. 
Sleight of hand. So, just intelligence check? Are you proficient in sleight of hand? Nope. Then you have just intelligence. Oh, I see what you mean. Who's, who wants to do it? Intelligence check. <laughs> who wants to do well, it? I get a plus zero. I get a plus one. Hey, Wait, no, with, with intelligence? Plus two. Oh, okay. I've got minus two, so. Oh, okay. I guess You're it's this guy. Right. Gigging it in. Just like, <laughs> Tie it let's up. See, let's, let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's all right, that is a nice 10. Ooh, crispy She's 10. tied up with a 10. <laughs> okay. Uh, why can't we, why didn't we assist him? We're just standing there. Do I still have Bless? No. Apply. That also doesn't work. That's right. Guidance. Uh, I have Guidance. You, can guide your, you could have get, guided yourself. Too can I guide myself? No. It's oh. over. <laughs> the past is the past. Stop or I've gotten a 13. Past. All right. So who's mm-hmm. taking first watch? Uh, I can, I guess. Okay. Roll a perception check. So many checks. While they're at watch, I want to talk to Mort on the side. I do guidance. That's allowed. Okay, but you roll first, sorry. I can guide myself, right? Yes, you can. I'll, I'll take, in my watch, I'll talk to Mort. I'll have, wa- I'll have Mort watch with me. Um, that is a 25. 25 is pretty good. So you don't see anything out the windows or anything like that. You got a pretty good eye on Luna. She's pretty hurt. She like she falls asleep. Like she's like not doing well. You know what I mean? She needs to rest a little bit. Um what you do notice is like you can hear kind of some of the braver denizens of Moorhaven go and investigate like the bodies that you left in the street and you hear some people like starting to like freak out and like you know some like wailing and like screams and stuff like that. Whoa! Uh, just sleeping. <laughs> like whoa! What kind of whales? Like, like just like shock, whoa, just absolute, yeah. or like, <sighs> no, not like that. Nothing, nothing supernatural. More like just like people are freaking out that oh, there's okay. like their leader. Oh, we just left the their body. leader's we body in the street. The body there? <laughs> Why did we do that? And the caster guy and the milkman. No, no milkman. The milkman's good. good. Jordy's the milkman. Jordy. He's, he's there. He's there to vouch for us that we're good. Dang people. It. Yeah, I'm sure that was really convincing. <laughs> Oh my I God. healed him. He's almost full health. Crap, I totally forgot about all that stuff. Well, it's just Sasha know. and Castor, right? The two. Oriole's Castor's messed up bodies also in the streets. <laughs> terrifying. Did the brambles leave right away after? The brambles did start to like okay. wilt and fade. There's like the ground is like obviously like something happened there. You can tell that like things were there, but like it's just like all these like blackened. They're like, like dead brambles yeah. now or something. That's cool. And they're like wilted like fully to the ground. They're like completely on the ground. That's so fun. Uh, wow. Okay. Well, but nothing that. in our in nothing immediate... approaches during your watch. Nothing right, okay. like that happens. You have a smooth watch. All right. Nice. Smooth as can be. Smooth as Mort's precious pimpleless face. <laughs> He's twenty five now. Might not be so smooth anymore. He's got a little bit of stubble coming in. Oh, All right. Ready? Five o'clock shadow. <laughs> it only starts coming it's in like at twenty four. <laughs> well, I guess he's had a whole lot. At fifteen, he wouldn't have uh, those true. genes wouldn't have really activated yet. But his family is actually surprisingly hairy. So <laughs> he's we'll one. Of, he is one of those guys who we'll gets five o'clock shadow morning. by like eleven in the morning. <laughs> eleven a.m. shadow. Yeah. Bless those people. <laughs> All right, that's your watch gig, and it goes smoothly. Nice. Who's up next? You can wake me up if you want, but it's up to you. I'm sleeping. All right. I'll nudge your shoulder, Sir Garrison. Ah, who, where, why? Ah, hello. (laughs) It's your turn. Ah, yes, thank you. Mort, wake up! (laughs) Oh, right. Okay, I'm awake. Time for a watch. Come on now. All right. Uh, Mort, you have been... uh... Wait, before before I go to sleep, I'll just... uh, When I, like, nudge you, I'll just cast guidance on you and be like, do us good and go back to sleep. Oh, nice. Love it. I perceive. I'll allow it. Yeah. <laughs> I perceive right now. Roll yes. to perceive. What does that mean? D4? Yeah. yeah. It's like a bless, but not. Whoa. Uh, what is my perception? 10. 10. And I rolled a 4 on guidance. Right, Do you, you want to keep talking oh. more, though, right now? I'm going to talk to more, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you have uh, honestly been exceptional especially as of late and i <clears throat> just want to uh inform you that upon our r- return i think you are ready for knighthood really so i think so i think so after what i've seen today 
Well, thank you. I'm 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 honored. I also think I um well, there's two things. First, I apologize for before when you died. <laughs> I think I have to say I was a little bit It's it's all right. It's all it was all in the line of duty. So I Harrison. well, I want you to know that I did feel um pain when I saw you fall down. Me t- me too. I'm sure you felt more than me. That's fair. <laughs> emotional, emotional. Sorry. Yes. Uh, cool, uh, cool. I'm not good at these things. I uh, just, I just want to tell you that it's. Uh, I also, I also want to apologize because I, uh, as you know, Mort is not your real name. Yes, uh, of course, but it's my new name. Well, I, it, it is. It is your placeholder name. I. Uh, I have had many squires over the years, and. Most of them did not make it. Right. Uh, and so I, in order to protect myself and my feelings, bestow upon my squires the name Mort. <laughs> um, so as to protect myself when you inevitably do perish. That now, is very wise, I, it's Sir not, Garrison. Uh, thank you, Mort. Thank you. I know. It's hard to understand. This is something I do. It's for my own protection. Now, I believe that I must stop calling you Mort now. What what will you call me? Your name. But that is where I need to apologize again for. I have also forgotten your actual name. <laughs> I knew it at one point. It was before we left, but I did not. I did not. Ch- I didn't choose to commit it to memory for. I would have uh, been more saddened upon your inevitable death, which I thought you were going. I mean, I thought you were going to die. <laughs> I, I, I did. I did die to be fair. And honestly, you were quite pitiful at the beginning when I first got you. <laughs> <laughs> but as of now, you are very uh, honestly capable, a very strong lad. You've grown into uh, quite a man yourself. Well, well, thank you. So I would like to know your name. Oh, right. If, I, I, if I, you would do me the honor and yes, the no, privilege of bestowing it upon uh, me. Of, of course, of course. Um, My name is. <laughs> what? <laughs> My name is Octavius. <laughs> oh. Excellent! Wow, a very strong, noble name. I like it. Thank you. Well, Octavius, I I will continue to call you Oct- Octavius. I mean, I will continue. I will start calling you Octavius now, <laughs> from now on, moving forward, and I will not call you Mort, uh, if that is what you desire. Of I- course. I would like to be called by my name. Yes, that would that make sense. That could be arranged. That would be. <laughs> to be fair, wonderful. I would also like to be called Sir Garrison, uh, not Mort. So yes, I understand. Is is Sir Garrison your your real name? In fact, uh, just uh, excuse my asking. Well, if we're all being forthright here, no, it is not. Oh, uh, should I call you your 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 name? No, nope, no, heavens, no! It's a terrible name. Uh, is my Mort? name is Gary. <laughs> Uh, Gary. Yes, it is Gary. I'm very saddened by that name. I hated it the second I heard it. I will. I will. The second you heard it. Yeah. When you were uh, a child. When it uh, when it flew out of my mother's flapping lips, I was in utter shock. I'll carry your secret to my to my grave. Thank you, more. Uh, 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 Octavius. Thank you, Octavius. Thank you, Sir okay. Garrison Boldshine. Uh, you're a true a true friend and ally. I appreciate you. And, and we continue our watch. <laughs> Wait, is your horse still here too? Yeah, oh yeah, my horse is my horse uh, golf golf is there somewhere. Yeah, oh yeah, it's been <laughs> there the whole time. Has been slaughtered for me. Yet. I, know. <laughs> I don't even know, remember. I forgot I have a horse. That's true. <laughs> What right. do I see with ten on my watch? Not much. Okay. You like look out the windows. I was busy communicating. You were having this tender moment, heart to heart. <laughs> I love it. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, you don't see a lot. Um. You like you try your best to look out the windows and stuff. You don't see anything moving around out there. You try to check on Luna. She doesn't seem to be stirring or anything. I check the knot. Check the knot. It's there. It's still holding. Okay. I'm gonna make sure it's still tied. Yeah. Okay. I'll go wake up Rune. Okay. Because I want Sturok to sleep more. She needs it. <laughs> Just she like her guts hanging out. <laughs> her guts are starting to heal after about seven hours of the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Back in. They're still out. They're just healing. They're like healing like that. That's right. The wounds in the guts themselves are healing. They're still outside your body. They're all outside. Uh, you, you, so. you fell asleep like on her stomach, so they're kind of. They didn't like. <laughs> yeah. <it's right. laughs> so they're kind of like. Oh, that's so gross. I love, love it so much. Well, wake up, Rune. All right, Rune. Oh, uh, right. My turn then. 
Yeah, if you don't mind. I, it would be my pleasure. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately pass out. Not stand. I mean, I go back to my bed. I, I, I forgot out. how uh, quickly humans fall asleep at, in their old, later years. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's not human. No, she's a dwarf. Oh, right. <laughs> I was like, what is she? She's a werewolf. No. She's a werewolf. She's a dragon. <laughs> she's a dragon. Oh, my goodness. All right. Um, does she just, she's going to do a watch? Nobody else is watching with her or anything? I guess not. <laughs> Nobody woke me up, so. I just trust people real easily. <laughs> That's just who I am. Just roll well. All right. Just don't Morning comes. In the middle of the night. Morning comes? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Is Rune still there? Rune's still there. Okay, good. <laughs> that would have been tough. There's, oh, good, you're starting to wake up. There, They didn't come close to the building or anything, but I saw a bunch of uh, the townsfolk are sort of starting to try to peek in the windows and stuff. I don't oh. know if uh, that's going to potentially be a problem for us in a, in a little bit here. Well, in about an hour after doing my morning routine, we can address <laughs> that issue. I'd start doing some calisthenics, <laughs> stretching, <clears throat> yoga poses. And I, uh, you want to fly? I need no, a couple no, more no, strawberries. Not. Oh, yes. <laughs> I forgot I promised this. You can all level up. <laughs> Whoa. Hold on. Wait, everybody? Even the listeners? Even the listeners. And you know wow. what? Even Mort. <laughs> oh, yeah, Morty. Also, I think this level up is very minimal. Yeah, mine's pretty. I hope that's true because then we can just like. Are we going to yeah, do it right cool. now on the on the business? Right on the fly? Um, 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 sure, or should we stop? Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah, just do it really well. Let's pause. Let's pause it. Hit the pause button, not the stop. Do you see it? The play pause? Right here. And everybody leveled up, just like that. We're level seven now, guys. Look, check us out. A bunch of level sevens over here. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what are you guys doing? <laughs> I want to eat the rest up? of the strawberries in her bowl. The, you already ate them all last oh, night. Oh, dang it. We want to we wanna get uh, information from Luna about oh, yeah, so true. the Lord of Nettles. Now that she's, especially now that she's in cahoots with it. So. There she is, sitting before you. Um, okay, I'm gonna, I want to try and intimidate her, and... How will you do it? What will, what will you say? Uh, She'll use her skill, intimidate. <laughs> Intimidation. Um... I think I'm just gonna like like pick her up and like hold her up basically, and like I don't know, look all menacing like I suppose. Okay. Be like. You pick her up. The chair kind of comes with her, and then it falls because she undid her bound bonds. Oh, this jerk! But she doesn't do anything really. Oh. She kind of just like re- reaches up here, like grabs under your like hands as they're grabbing under her. But you you got her kind of under control. How many fingers does she have? Nine. <gasps> She's missing one of her pinkies. Mm. Did the Lord of Nettles request that finger from you? Roll a persuasion check. Or intimidation. Whatever you're... It's kind of just a normal question. I don't know if I was doing either. Persuasion. With advantage, right? Nope. Do I, get, I don't get advantage. He said, right? And he didn't guide me. Okay, I just want to make sure. <laughs> Ten. Ten. I don't have to answer that. I'm going to start squeezing a little bit and be like, yes, you do. Ooh. <laughs> You can kill me, but I care more for the people. It's okay. I don't actually care about whether or not you live. I just want to find the Lord of Nettles. Yeah. So be it. She closes her eyes. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on here. Let's not <laughs> jump to these conclusions. So hasty. Everybody's so hasty. Listen, we are actually, <laughs> believe it or not, here to uh, save your town. <laughs> not kill everyone here. <laughs> Surog. <laughs> All right, we're here to help you. We're here to save you. This is a glorious, momentous moment for you to have an actual night and another night, night to be. <laughs> this is uh, Octavius, everybody. Hi, I'm Octavius. This is Octavius. I can't clap because one of my hands is a little preoccupied. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I appreciate the sentiment uh, regardless. That's not quite the reaction I was expecting, but all right. Hey, hi, everybody. My name is Octavius. Is I thought it, it was Mort. It's a long story. It's, it's not a long important. story. Okay, well, anyways, here, listen, um, Luna, you, uh, we actually want to try to help you stop losing fingers. That's our, kind of our goal. We wish for you to uh, have a peaceful town without the influence of this um, presence, dark presence that is upon you. If I may. Uh... <laughs> Please, go ahead. <coughs> okay, uh, so, Rog, do you mind? Just a little? 
Little, just a little give here. Just drop her. <laughs> ah, okay. oh, oh, I, I, oh. I'll sit her up nicely. <clears throat> uh, we we have had a peaceful town here for generations. Okay. If it were not for the Lord of Nettles, there would be no peace here in Warhaven. I just don't think losing fingers is very peaceful, is it? Losing fingers is nothing compared to the suffering that we would injure. Let me tell you a story. <clears throat> Yesterday, I uh, looked upon the desolate road that I saw. Uh, there was a small young lad. Poor boy. Had one finger. That's it. On both. N one hand nothing. One hand one. Think about that. What life is that? What lifestyle is that? It's terrible. Suffering indeed. That is suffering. This was his choice. Whoever Whose he, choice? Whoever he was, this young lad. How? Why? Is this an option? You can give up a finger for, for fun? What, is, what, is the, what do you mean it's his choice? He has made the decision, if he is down to one finger, to displease the Lord of Nettles. This is his decision. Hmm. So how does it work? You say something bad about the Lord of Nettles? You know, you wake up with the finger gone? How does it work? No, he does <clears throat> Sacrifice. You must. Uh, you must make your sacrifice to him. I'm gonna hold up <clears throat> Dash's staff and be like, "What's the significance of this?" It's a, <laughs> a druidic focus. It helped her to cast her magic. Mm -hmm. So how come Sasha didn't have any fingers? Or lost. How come? How come she had all her fingers and lost none? Sasha has been a loyal servant to the Lord of Nettles her whole life. This is why she was chosen. So, oh, oh, so there must be some sort of commandments. Like, what do you? How do you know if you're being good or bad? You <laughs> you stay in tune with uh, what he desires. I. There are no specific rules, uh, but uh, if you will, you know, uh, he has a certain, um, he provides certain things for this town. He expects us to, you know, uh, keep ourselves safe, stay within the limits of the town if that is what he commands. He commands us to grow crops. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You said he commands. So what does that mean? Does he message everyone into your minds? Is there a, some sort of... Does he appear to you at some point? Does he... She does smiles. He says he speaks to his chosen one. Ah, to you now, right? And now it will be through me, yes. Are you excited about that? This promotion? It is a, an honor, to be sure. Why would he pick you? Whew. I think there's the I last one left. Deemed worthy. Oh. I don't know what else to say. How long has the Lord of Nettles been uh, the ruler in these parts? Since before I was born. Oh, How would you see this place different without him if he was gone? We would gone? be slaughtered. Have you not seen the Freylands outside of this place? Oh, we know the Freylands very well. We traveled here. Then you know. The people of this town would not survive without his protection. So you wish us to just leave you alone? Lose all your fingers to this... Deity of yours? I'm his chosen. I will very likely not lose any more fingers. But that poor lad, like these people, they uh, you just uh, gonna allow them to be taken like that? We teach these sacrifices. Them. We teach them to be careful, to be obedient to him. Would you rather be employed by a vampire? <laughs> by a vampire? Oh, I don't know. I'm just sorry. I just... So you have been to the Castle Manor? No. Yes. Yes, we have. We went there. <laughs> we did. Yes, we did. What sort of promises did uh, this vampire make to you? Were you able to speak to it? Well, yes, we did. Yes, right? I'm just so going to say yes. I don't like at this point. <laughs> what sort of promises did this creature make to you? Well, less fingers lost. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> and what? How will he protect us? How will he provide food? I know that vampires, in my limited knowledge, have no ability to provide this sort of blessing. That's very true. I actually don't know the answer to that question. You'd have to ask her yourself, but I think like a very uh, <clears throat> maybe of an open discourse. You Speak with her. 
do not understand our ways. Do not Definitely. come to our place and tell us how we should live, what we should choose. This has been our life. This has been my life and the life of my parents and made, I think even my grandparents since they were born. Do you think that the Lord of Nettles has control over all of the Freelands? Have you ever thought this? I do not doubt he's very powerful. And if my visions from yesterday indicate anything, his reach is farther than I ever considered. Mm, hold on, you had visions? Yes, like I said. Would you like to receive communication with the Lord of Nettles? I would very much love to communicate with this Lord of Nettles, yes. What does that involve? Do we have to go somewhere? Cut off Are you going to become the Lord of Nettles? I can show you. All right. Do it. Seems a little scary and ominous, but I'll <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Come on. Take us for a ride. Who, uh, which of you desires to receive communion? Okay, hold on. <laughs> I didn't know we were having a communion. <laughs> I just wanted to have a little chat. I, uh... What does that mean? <laughs> he does not chat. He communes. He will communicate to you. I mean, I'll do it. I don't really care. All right. All right. Oh, you beat me I to mean, it. Oh, I guess <laughs> I was just about to say I would I mean, do it you've got time. like a squire to take care. I mean, I guess another knight. He's almost there. Gigan's <laughs> got his cupids. <laughs> Cherubs. You have your little fuzzy balls. Don't forget about those. <laughs> In your bag. What did you guys think I said? All right. I mean, is this something that we want to do? I, I, I don't know what it means. <laughs> I right. Honestly, I don't know what it means to commune with this Lord of Nettles. Is it going to co- convert you or something? Are you going to co- you going to come back and be all, uh, take my fingers, Lord? <laughs> something like that? I don't know. All right, go for it. It's, this is your decision. I just want to make sure. Well, is that what we want? Right. I mean, like, if we want to chat uh, with this Earl Luna, of Nettles. Sorry, Luna, be a little more specific. Come on. Give, don't say, oh, would you like to commune? <laughs> That's so strange, all right? <laughs> Tell us what that means. Is he going to take over our minds? <laughs> oh, no. Is the Lord of Nettles going to curse us? He got us... burned by an old man. <laughs> the Lord of Nettles would never force us to obey. It is our decision. Okay, all right. As it would be yours if you, after seeing what he will show you. <laughs> oh, would, that, uh, that's oh, the part that I have issue with. <laughs> be <Same. interesting. laughs> all right, fine. All right, fine, Surag. <laughs> do you mind? Yes. I, I do it. All right. She holds up her hands. Come closer. <laughs> Ooh, I hate this already. <laughs> all right. All right. She reaches mm-hmm. up and she places her thumbs on your temples and kind of like grasps your head, not tight, just gently. And uh, she says, "Close your eyes." I do it. Okay. <laughs> Suddenly, your mind is filled with this vision, and it's it's a bizarre vision where your perspective is like jutting around, like it's it's ever changing. Um, you, for, for a second, you feel like you are one of the vines in like a random place in the forest, just kind of like curling its way up a tree unnaturally quickly for a plant, but like slowly. And you just see like the, the, the forest around you. Suddenly you're in the eyes of a raven flying over Moorhaven and you see, uh, most of the people are not visible except for some people kind of like gathering a little bit around the house that you guys are in near the center of town. Um, you see, um, a pack of wolves just kind of like running through the forest. You see um, through like the eyes of like what would be a tree essentially, just kind of like looking at the Castor Manor. Um, and then finally, the, you, and you see a bunch of things like more than that, but it's too quick for you to, other than that, it's too quick for you to like kind of pick up on what you're seeing. Um, but finally, you see um, within yourself. You can sense that there is something that is taken root, and you can you can kind of like feel it growing, uh, not you in your body, but you can feel it growing as from the perspective of this thing growing within your heart. There are these kind of like root-like wooden things that are slowly spreading to wrap themselves around your heart. 
and you're jutted back out. That's it? That's what you see. What, what, what happened? I relate what I saw. Wait, so you have thorns in your heart? I'm confused. So you have been blessed already. What? What does I that thought, mean? I thought you said she could reject it if she wanted. Yeah. Did you choose this? Do you like the Lord of Nettles? I'm confused. Who's, who is this? When did this happen? No, no. He would not. He, he is just communicating in this way. Whatever it is that is inside of you was placed there earlier. Wait. Commune with me, quick. Put your thumbs on my head. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. I'm ready. I close my eyes. All right. I have to see you too. She puts her hands on your head. You have similar visions of just like zooming all over the place. You see this stra- these strange yellow eyes in like a uh, mm-hmm. like a, a bramble bush. It's just kind of like peeking through some of the gaps in the brambles. You see, uh, like you, you sense kind of like you are inside of those dying, like those dead briars and, and, and nettles yesterday, but they're like, they're fading away. You feel the life force fading away and you getting like sucked back into the earth where, uh, you can sense that a a larger part that is connected to the Lord nettles resides. And that's it. No, no thorns in my heart. That's right. Do me, do me. (laughs) Wait, I thought, hold on. Didn't I get, didn't we both get those weird grubs in us or whatever? Mm -hmm. I thought maybe that's what it was. Mm Mm-hmm. But now I guess maybe they got they no. got further in hers, didn't they? I remember no, one they of you got further, further in you. In yeah. Oh, because I was able to. Yeah. Yeah. My heart beat it out. So that wasn't it. Then. If you recall, please re- review us. You rolled a Constitution saving throw, and stopped experiencing any more of their burrowing. You, on the other hand, they just attacked. Oh. So they burrowed right into your heart. I can't remember that though. So it was the grubs. Okay. <clears throat> do me, do me. <laughs> she kind of reaches up, puts her hand on hands on your head, and you see again similar visions in the eyes of a raven, in the eyes of a pack of wolves, kind of like your 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 perspective jutting between the wolves as they run. Um, you catch the eyes of. Uh, of um of Luna like looking back at you for a second at like looking into your face as your eyes are closed uh and there's like a flash of yellow and you uh are inside the eyes of a raven peeking through the peeking through the hole in the 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 tur- or the tur- the turret the, the tower in the Castor Manor looking down at the the uh the red kind of portal and you see uh Victoria standing there at the portal just kind of like looking back up at the raven and then you, you jump back out. Um, do so any tight. of these visions no. happen outside of Moorhaven? Like, I don't even see Moorhaven. Lots of them, yes. Like, the wolves running around, you, there's no Moorhaven in that. Uh, mm. Were there any other, like, townspeople's eyes we went into? I'll have to go to no. Mission. No. I... Not that you, I mean, you, the vision went fast. Yeah, you, know yeah. what I mean? you saw a lot more things than you were able to, like, <clears> register. But mainly animals. But nothing that you picked up on. And but... plant life. And Luna. And Luna. The yellow eyes. Mm. Where were those at? In those are the things we saw at the very beginning too, right? And yeah, the yellow eyes. Yeah, like, and, and on the, the way to the mo- to the yeah. manor as well, because that's when I tried to mimic its howl and did very mm. poorly. Do can I recognize where those yellow eyes were from? Like geographically. Which like did I see it near? Did I see those eyes near the cat the Castor no, Manor? Just in the forest, like okay. nothing else. So I can't recognize. Okay. Trees. There are other trees. Probably. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Well, you are wrong, Luna. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> but you are. Like the Lord of Nettles does not allow you to just accept him, because we have proof here. Unless I'm wrong, Surag, you did not accept these. This to grow in your heart, right? I did not. That's consent, right there. See, you hear that? She, just, she consents not to have it. <laughs> Therefore, she shouldn't have had it. And yet they're there. Well, <clears throat> that is not for me to decide. I am simply a uh, deliverer of his communications. Well, that wasn't too much of a communication. We want to be able to talk to him or see him. He does not speak. He can't speak? I'm sure he could, but he does oh. not feign to speak with those of us that rely on language in this way does he howl you've heard him I'm sure 
Mm-hmm. We did, yes, indeed, a couple times. So he's a being. He exists out there somewhere. He is out there somewhere, but uh, he is connected to the Freylands. <laughs> if in fighting against my my family, you are hoping to defeat the Lord of Nettles, you are going to be sorely <laughs> disappointed because you cannot defeat him. Perhaps you can destroy part of his corporeal form, but uh, he will spread to the rest of the forest. How would you suspect he could be defeated if possible ever? He cannot. I beg to differ. Ooh. Okay, hold on. I don't know if we need to do that yet. Let's not get hostile here. <clears throat> We're just having a nice conversation, nice chat. We are the heroes here. We're here to protect you. Do not worry, Luna. We are here. We will help you and your nettle problem. We, we have no I nettle problem. I know what you think. Do you understand? You are the problem at this point. You have killed many of the warriors who have been blessed the most by the Lord of Nettles. The werewolves, you mean? The ones who are twisted, their forms tainted by darkness? The ones you call them those... empowered. Oh, no, no, no. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here, you guys. Honestly, maybe we just get out of here. Leave these f- crazies to their crazy. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, why don't we just leave town? I mean, it's quite uh, tempting. <laughs> but I feel it is our honor. I am Oath of the Crown Paladin. <laughs> <laughs> Mort. I mean, uh, sorry, Octavius. I shall never call you that name again, henceforth and forever. If 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 you mess up a couple of times, it's not that big. Thank it's you, it's I, a lot to get used to. Honestly, I definitely will mess up again. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> we stand for... We stand for... Octavius, what are our tenets of our oath? Please repeat them back to me. Um... Law, loyalty. Law. Remember, those two are easy because they're both law the same loyalty. letter. They both start with this. Yeah. Really uh, law and loyalty, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> Second, courage. Courage. You can't be a paladin without courage. Absolutely and responsibility, not. which I, I feel yeah. right now, mm-hmm. it is our responsibility right now to take care of this, uh, this poor, lost, lost civilization, if you can call it that. <laughs> no offense, Luna. But your town is very quaint. It's not really even considered civilization at this point, really. She just kind of stares you down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, if these folk just want to eat strawberries and cut off their fingers. I guess I cannot take the free will of someone. That would be terrible, I believe. So uh, they have their law. They have their loyalty. They possess the tenets of my devotion, I guess, in some twisted, dark way. But all right. If I may, then this you? is a different voice. Somebody from like one of the windows. <laughs> ah, I, ju- I jump a little bit, <laughs> and it's just—it's like this young guy, probably a little, a little younger than Mort now. Or sorry, Octavius. Octavius. Thank you. He's older than Mort was. Octavius was <laughs> yesterday. Uh, he's got kind of just like a little bit of bristles and stuff. He's kind of peeking in, and Luna like sees him and like just shoots him like a, a look that's just like daggers. He says, "Not." Everyone in this town shares that sentiment. Ha ha ha! Take that, <laughs> Luna. See? What do you say that, Luna? Dario, you need to leave. You don't know what you're talking about. I think you need to be quiet, Luna. Uh, let's go out the door, shall we? What do you think? Talk to these townsfolk. Oh, sorry, do you think? I just wanted think? to do something like that. Go, please do it. What do you want? I just wanted to, like, blind Luna or something. What? <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> what do you even mean? <laughs> Blind her permanently forever? Yeah. Not forever, just <laughs> for some time. She's annoying me. I want to oh, blind, blind her. her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, you do you, man. Whatever you want. But I would don't, like. Don't I would like to step outside. Don't come out here. Not everyone is happy with you. That's Luna. No, that's oh, Dario. Dario. Oh, Dario, the guy. Oh, uh, I'll run up to him. <laughs> Dario, please. I can't stay. They're going to see me. But where do we meet you? How do we contact you? Conversation. Uh, Okay, if you can get out, I think you should be able to get out. You Speak, boy. Quite well. Uh, meet me at um, um, meet me at the at the Castor Manor. Whoa! <laughs> All right, we can return there. Sure, tonight. Uh, now, uh, in uh, at, at midday. I clasp his hand through the little hole. Is there enough room? Yeah, How many fingers has he got? He's got. He's got like 
a thumb and a pointer finger on that, <gasps> on that hand. I clasp his thumb and pointer finger. <laughs> I say, you take courage, young lad. We are here for you. I'm an oath of the crown, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it doesn't matter what I am. I have but to we're go. here to protect I have you. To go. They're going to see me. Yes, please leave now. He runs. Amazing. Yeah. Does he like get away, or does someone chase after him? Uh, or... he, he leaves your guys' vision mm-hmm. for sure. Dang, he gets his time. Wait, I'm just kidding. All right. <sighs> well, Luna seems like there's more than meets the eye. That boy's a fool. Well, you understand. He doesn't understand the consequences that would befall us without the Lord of Nettles. Even if you don't like him, listen to me. We would be slaughtered. I'm going to insight this. Sure. That's a good insight check right there. Oh, yeah, sucker. Take that, a 24. Yeah, take that. Yeah. She seems, like, genuinely concerned. Like, there's something about, like, you can tell that her faith in the Lord of Nettles is, like, pretty, like, she's pretty indoctrinated. Mm-hmm. But she seems like she seems like she feels she is making a very genuine point. She's not trying to like trick you, right? She's mm-hmm. trying to like point um, out something she thinks is very like objectively a concern that you should also share. I mean, and and sense. and like with that, can I want to know like is she like truthful in saying that without like like from her perspective that if Lord Nellis was gone, that they would be destroyed. From her perspective, absolutely. Okay, but obviously yeah. we think that that's false. Well, I think that's <laughs> I actually false. don't know how. <laughs> I don't know what the solution is to be honest, because I know we've seen what the Freylands is like, and it, nothing grows. But anywhere. it seems like in this spot. But it's everywhere we've seen, at least from those visions, and it's everywhere we've seen. What? What do you mean? What's like everywhere? in the visions that we saw through yeah. the communion thing, whatever. Yeah, our first communion. We were like sent. All over the Freylands, not just like Moorhaven. I know, but there's only strawberries growing here. Everything else is dead. Well, they're not. The Lord of Nettles isn't going to have strawberries grow outside of town where no one eats them. That's like the payment of strawberries. I no, I, I think. <laughs> okay, what I'm what I'm saying is, I think nothing's going to grow here if he's if he's not producing this, like he's making mm-hmm. the strawberries. Although maybe they're just saying that, and actually maybe just stuff does grow here. Well, but I, we don't know. I, yeah, and I think that the Lord of Nettles is suppressing growth. Whoa, that's so profound. For sure, there was like that, like yeah. feeling of rot. You're right. So, like, so this if... is actually a beautiful oasis. But it's not just that. Are you having this conversation? I assume you are. <laughs> I was not in... just that. Oh, yeah, right. Consi- like, consider this. Even if that is true, which I <laughs> cannot believe that it is, he blesses us. But even <laughs> if it is true, uh-huh. there are other creatures that live around here. You've seen them. Have you not on your way into this place? The scribe oh, creatures. Yeah. Horrid creatures. You've seen them. All the, the wolves, the yes. goblins, the orcs, the mm. giants in the in the. We in actually the ogres. slew a few giants, actually, on the way. Yeah, you did. Nothing. Well, not for us. Look at these people. Look at that boy you just talked to. Darius. There are other places these people can go. Uh, no, these I mean, have been our lands for generations, and we cannot make the journey out. We will be slaughtered. Oh, um, with us. Surag would like to say something. You, Please don't talk over our <laughs> friends here, please. No, no, it's fine. Go on. Okay. She had nothing, nothing to else to say. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, I think we take our leave. Thank you very much. Luna. You cannot do oh. this. You're going Sorry? to be, you're going to kill all my people. We would never do that. You don't understand. You don't understand. Uh, you have been my... here, what, three days? You do not understand. Well, <laughs> sometimes you need to take a step back and analyze a little bit your current situation. I think you've been living in this rot-infested place, no offense again, this uh, puny town, no offense, I'm so sorry, uh, this decrepit place, really, there's really nothing here but strawberries, and they're mediocre at best. Octavia says, I think you should, you should quit while you're ahead. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, okay. But um, anyways, what I was trying to say is that you, I, you, didn't, you don't have an outside perspective. I think sometimes that's very important. Maybe be more open to it. I think it'd be helpful for you. You fools. Have you ever been outside the Freelands? How? How was exactly. it? Exactly. That's my... Uh, I'm just saying, if you were outside... You'd have a different perspective and know that mm-hmm. he's right. This is uh, this is torture, but it doesn't matter. She has made her decision. We will make ours, and uh, I I say take take hope in us and uh, take take courage. We are here to help. I know you do not agree or whatever, and we're gonna cause doom on you, but we won't. We're here to help you. If there is a circumstance where you guys are in trouble. The Lord of Nettles, for whatever reason, no longer exists. You will be taken care of. We will provide that 
care. We'll see. We shall see. All right. I want to step outside. Okay. You step outside, and there are, like, people who, like, are you, I guess you have to unbarricade the door. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I want to say, good citizens of <laughs> Moorhaven. <laughs> All right. So there are, there are, as you step outside, there's a number of people that are, like, not, like, gathered outside the door, but, like, are kind of, like, close to the door, approaching the house and stuff like that, trying to get, like, closer and closer. They see you, like, bust out the door, and a lot of them, like, kind of back up or duck behind stuff. We come arms wide open, willing to assist and help in all manners, in every facet of your lifestyle. <laughs> I am Sir Garrison Boldshine, a knight of the Oath of the Crown <laughs> devotion. Now, look here. We have been tasked uh, to help with this undead problem <laughs> that has been scourging your poor little town, and we solved it. Then, upon our return, we didn't know, but we were being followed. I mean, we kind of knew. <coughs> Hold on. I have to cough. I'm, so, I'm weak in my old age. <coughs> but we were, uh, we were beset upon by another foul undead and uh, attempted, with the help of Sasha, to destroy that evil being. But alas, in the fight, she fell and... Many of your brave warriors fell among her as well. Uh, but do not fret. We are here to serve and to help and protect. Roll, de <laughs> roll, roll deception. All right. <laughs> what about, like, performance? <clears throat> what are you better in? Uh, we're gonna do They're both terrible. This is a full-on lie. <laughs> mm, 15. Okay. 15. I see that. Should we do like a okay. like a survey, like who likes medals, who doesn't? Like go over here and <laughs> we'll vote. Go. Well, voting. Well, poll. Who reveal reveal medals? yourselves. Okay. We, yeah, we could do something like many of you. Yeah, the poll would be good. Well, some people I mean, might be scared to say that they them. don't like medals if they don't. Well, like that, that's why they do it. We have to talk to each one individually. Oh, a secret ballot. Yeah. <gasps> well, we do. We talk to each of them individually, or we just okay. look at their hands. And How many if they are have there? fingers? Then they, we know that they're. Oh, that's out. true. We talk to the fingerless ones more. Mm -hmm. That poor boy pushing that strawberry around. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I incorporated that into the lore that's of the city. Okay. That's because I kind of just made that that's up. Canon. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm so happy that that's you. Uh, yeah, but we won't say any of that. Right now, right? Do you want me? To, do you want to talk? About, talk to. I feel like we need to do some, some gathering <clears throat> so that when we go meet Mister uh, Mister Darius, Darius, we know like a percentage of what the town is, like Dario. what their view. Dario, Dario, Dario. So yeah, we know, like you know, there's only two of them. In my head, I was like, "Was it Darius?" <laughs> but I just committed. Or if it's like ninety-five percent, you know, we don't know if it's two percent, ninety-five percent. As you're kind of standing there, Luna comes out behind you because she is untied, and she's going to say, "These people, they think that they can." Come to our town. Stomp on our ways. They seek to kill our Lord of Nettles, but I say they are fools. For as we know, the Lord of Nettles is one with Freylands. Speak. I do not hold you back. You are allowed to t talk to them as you wish. Can I do a perception to see if there are people who are like, yeah, mm. or if people are like... Mm. Yeah, roll a, roll a big insight. Just a big insight big for everybody. Insight. Make sure it's big, though. Don't do a small one. Okay, okay, okay. 18. That's big. You are getting a bit of a mix. So it's like, it's it's really hard to tell. And especially because, like, when Sir Garrison was speaking, some people seemed to be, like, slightly nodding and stuff like that. But mm. the reaction was very subdued. Mm. Whereas, you know, they know Luna. You know what I mean? Like, the people that are in support of her are being a little bit more, like, overt with their with their shows of support. But you saw a little bit of reaction for both people speaking. Um, I, I will say she is not wrong, by the way. I think um, <clears throat> she, she, we see a issue here. Obviously it runs generations deep. Don't get me wrong. I, this is the way that you wish to live. I respect that. Now I know that there may be some among you who seek a better life. Who seek a life free of pain and suffering and sacrifices. Uh, to those people, uh, we say, take, take courage. We are here for you. And so you do support the 
destruction of our board of natives? Not necessarily. I do not. I, I think there may be some way to arrange those who wish to continue in this manner to to continue in this manner. I don't know. I, I can't take your free will. If this is your choice, it's your choice. I just am proposing an alternative for those who disagree with this style of living. Understood. Well, <laughs> he will be certainly displeased with you. And any of you who decide to go with him if it is your choice to leave, as soon as you leave Moorhaven, know that the Lord of Nettles will hunt you himself. And that is totally not true. <laughs> For he would have hunted us now, but he has not. And he is not going to do that. He does. He may not exist. I, I'm sorry. I know it's bold for me to say that. <laughs> he might just be some belief you guys have had for many years. But I don't know. Anyways. Uh, As you say this, Surog, in your <gasps> chest, you feel this kind of like horrible, like almost like ripping sensation right through you. <gasps> and just kind of like right out of your out of your center of your chest, like right through like your clavicle this kind of like this root just kind of like emerges and just kind of like rips out of you and then curls up and like wraps around like your, your kind of stomach and your lower rib, rib cage and just like latches on like underneath your ribs again like digs back into your skin and you just got this weird like root growth thing just right here in your like upper stomach <laughs> excuse me I yell <laughs> I try to hide I try to get in front to cover her from everyone <laughs> um, but as she yells Luna says look no no just... is this the work of a False god. She's had that her whole life. It <laughs> blooms and it falls. It blooms. It's that time of the month. <laughs> it's the time of the month. This is a very natural process for her. <laughs> we shall see what happens, Sir Garrison Boldshine. Do not fear, citizens. We're here for you. Do not fear, indeed. <clears throat> if you do his will, you will be blessed. If not, you have lived here your whole lives. You know what will happen. And she walked back into Fash's house. All right. Eeky, eeky. Are you okay, Sorog? What's happening? <laughs> I'm it quite. Sc- I'm actually quite scared. Yeah, this, this. I'm like, I'm like, like, like pain sweats. Can uh, I, can I like? I want to know what condition she's in, like mechanically. <laughs> <laughs> just tell us. I just want to know if there's any. I don't want to. This, this is what I don't. I don't want. I don't want to learn five months later that I had like four no, spells that could let's save just try her. And, let's go take I want let's let's quickly let's go somewhere else. Oh she goes back into Sasha's house? Dang it. That was, yeah, that was our, our house. That's kind of our place. No we had um, we had uh, yeah, way Luke, to steal our clubhouse Luna. Yeah, <laughs> big old jerk you were we even had, invited. Uh, Lukai and Anna, I think their house. Or or no, Van. Oh where Fran are you and guys? Vanessa. Vanessa Fran and, and, and Fran. Yeah. Fran. Fran. Oh Fran. Fran. <laughs> I just I definitely just wrote Fran. Let's go to the manor. It's only a five minute walk. Run. It's only five Yeah we can let the vampire while we're there. I just let her leave. <laughs> you know what? Deal with it. <laughs> We're done. Bye. No, but let's just go to regroup. I don't think... Like, we killed the undead guy and the ghost. Yeah. So, like, it's probably a safe place as long as she's not listening there. Well, she has the raven that's watching the vampire. No, well, that's Lord the... Nettles. Well, oh, sorry. Yeah. That's yeah, what I meant. That's, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If we... Maybe we go there and, like... Well, they have... The Lord of Nettles has Surog now that's probably listening. Yeah, we could so. just try and bait him, though, if we, like... I don't know how. I want to try and cast Lesser Restoration on her. Okay. Aww. I don't think it's going to work, but I'm going to do it anyways. You cast because... Lesser Restoration on her. Okay. I feel a little bit better. Root's still there. Okay, that that helped a, that helped a little we'll, bit. Define a little bit better. Like, feels nice. <laughs> yeah, you just feel a little nice little tingle. <laughs> but the root problem is still there. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a big issue. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't work. I just wanted to do it. Uh, so it's makes sense. come out... Of like my sternum, so it's come out of like your your sternum right here, like in the like spot right under Gosh. your rib cage here in the middle. It like burst out there, like grew out a little bit, and but it's still like tight to your body, and then like wrapped back around your rib cage and dug back in. What if we try and take it out? <laughs> can I can I do some checks? <laughs> I want to know the condition. Roll a medicine check. Do a check. Yeah, do we carve it out of you? Hack it out. I mean, pull it out. Uh, 18. 18. You know that. <laughs> so, from like a medical standpoint, it's like pretty like connected to her. Trying to like chop it off would be like potentially no bueno. Death? 
Tough to say. Maybe not. Mm-hmm. It would probably hurt. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you do like mm-hmm. a little sample as part of your medicine check. I'm going to say this. You do like a little sample. You get like your dagger and you just kind of like try to like carve off a little bit and like just the wood and you feel it. Weird. Uh, what about like condition wise? Like is she blinded? She's not blinded. Poisoned. <laughs> well, no, obviously. She enchanted disease. There, there, could disease? Be, there could be an aspect of like a curse to this potentially, but it might run a little deeper than that too. It's not something that you've ever really encountered before. And it's not like a, a, a disease. Uh, no. Okay, not that not I a get. disease. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Are you ready? How many hit points do you have? Uh, eighty nine. <clears throat> we'll just whoa. Cut it. There's so many more than me. We'll cut you. Heal. I think cut that's what heal. we should do. I think here's what I want to do. I also want to cast warding bond so that oh, I, or yeah. or uh, sorry, the new one I got divine allegiance. <laughs> so I take the damage for you. Oh my gosh! And then. You have more hit points, and we just keep carving it out, get it all out. And I can also heal. This is going to be like a... Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Does Rune have anything? Does Rune yeah, have Rune, any knowledge about any of this? Big old bard. Yeah, did, how nimble bard. are her hands? <laughs> my, my hands are... They're all right. I mean, I play the loot, so... Uh, what, do you want, what are you asking me to do exactly? <laughs> just perform a <laughs> terrible surgery on this poor... So we can we can definitely try that. I have some thoughts, though. I had some ideas, uh, some things that I heard in there, but uh, I don't really know if this is the best place no, for it right now. We should get and she's like, look, as you guys look around, like some of the people are, they're like not overt, like they're not like storming you because they they're saw all you like... fight. You know what I mean? But like they're starting to like move in. You get some dirty looks. Like some people are starting to kind of like grumble and whisper to each other. We should go to Ferenz's place. You think? I think we need to leave more hidden. Oh, you think? I think we need to go to the the thing. Yeah, to the yeah, the, okay, Caster Manor. Yeah, yeah, Caster okay. Manor. I feel the, like they're going to find us here. Like yeah, or we could do it. this surgery at the mausoleum. Ooh, I like that too. Let's go meet up with Dario. Darius. Dario. What time is it? Like Dario. morning? Like 9? It's like 9.30. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we got all day. Right. Okay. I forgot we just woke up. That's right. Should we do surgery first and then go talk to him tonight? That could work. Oh. You, said, you said you meet him at, at uh, noon. Day. Oh, noon. Okay, yeah. Let's go there. Let's go meet him first then. Because I want to see what he has to say. Because maybe he's got some tidbits yeah. of information or something. All right. Sh- should we, like, try to recruit <clears throat> people? I don't want to tell people, hey, we're going to be the cast well, Manor. I think I want to use Dario to do it. Ah, uh, like... Yeah, we just tell him... A go, rebellion. Go get the people who you know are in mm-hmm, on it. Mm-hmm, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The he's people the will rise. Yes, indeed. With our two, three fingers. <laughs> <laughs> they will help. Our symbol will be this. <laughs> Like like a finger a, and a thumb, loser, like a like a loser, a loser like, symbol. That'll be. We put it on our foreheads, <laughs> and all oh, shall see. <laughs> all right, I like that idea. All right, where are you going? What's the plan? To go meet to meet Dario. Dario. Okay, you head to the Castor Manor? Manor. Yes. All right, Dario at the Manor. You guys leave town, and there's like a little bit of like people following as you as you leave. I'm gonna turn and like snarl at them. Okay, roll intimidation. How many fingers do they have? And I, at the same time, I'm like, fear not, my friends. <laughs> We're here for helping. That's it. Okay. <laughs> uh, Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. Yeah, I mean, it's not, like, crazy effective because there's a lot of them, but some people, like, they, they slow down for sure. Like, some of the people kind of step back completely. The people that were following you just follow a little farther back. Um, oh. Roll a perception check. <clears throat> uh, 13, 14. 14. Again, a little bit of a mix, but mix m- mostly people with a lot of fingers following uh, you. That makes sense, right? Los that's, that is as we've seen, <laughs> so that's good. But you know, again, a mix. <clears throat> like you see, a couple of people have like three fingers left. Mm. You know, um, but do they follow us out of the town? No, they okay. stop at the edge of town as Love you guys that. leave, and you do see. Uh, kind of just like briefly for a second you see some like glowing yellow eyes in the mist as you leave and then they, they blink away they go away then can i try and in, in, imitate the howl again sure roll <laughs> performance <laughs> you're like snarling and howling at this group of people <laughs> 11 Ooh. getting better <laughs> it's uh it's better than last time it's not great <laughs> All right, and you guys, yeah, you head towards the Castor Manor. Um, yeah, as you arrive there, uh, it looks horrible as before. Still the same, terrible. You kind of like sit down, wait for Dario to arrive because you still got a couple hours. Why did we choose this place? It's disaster in here, and that's where we're gonna end this episode.
Whoa. So we'll pick up and maybe do surgery next week, next time. Whoa. Maybe, you know, <laughs> inside an insurrection, just like Pure a chaos. revolution in Mordhaven. <laughs> maybe try to fight, you know, the Lord of Nettles. Who knows? Maybe, um... Rune said that she had some insights, she so she'll did. share those. Cliffhangers, yeah. oh, cliffhangers. So many. Maybe Rune will be useful. <laughs> Maybe someday we can all hope. Perhaps. All right. Thank you guys for listening. Everybody that listened, uh, you guys are the best ear viewers. I love it. What about the people that didn't listen, though? Uh, I don't like them very much. You don't like them? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Anybody that didn't listen, I don't No like thanks to like. you. Yeah. Wait, they're not listening, though. Well, that's why it's okay to say oh, it. I see. It's behind okay. their back. Ah, oh, that's yeah. good to talk but about. But the nice thing is, as soon as they do listen, they'll be, have been one of the people that listen, so it's not about them anymore. Then they would never even know. That's they correct. wouldn't have known. That's correct. Wow. So if you're hearing this, I like you. <laughs> if you're not hearing this, you'll never know, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, take that. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a great rest of your lives. Bye. <laughs> wow, bye. bye. <laughs>